Hi, in this lesson I'm going to talk about the geodesic domes. Draw your circle, click on it, create the form, then go to manage, dynamo player, let's wait, now search for geodesic, you're going to find conceptual adaptive k-super geodesic paneling. Let's get into it. Now we're going to go select the dome we want, then we're going to choose the intensity, or in other words, it's called frequency for the people who know the geodesic domes. Now we're going to choose the method, upper dome, or downer dome, or the full sphere. Let's choose the upper dome, let's leave it at 1. Next, there are some options you can choose and change. You can, for example, change the scale, the X or Y or Z. For example, you can increase the height or the width or the depth of the dome. Next, finally, we're going to have to choose the adaptive family. Now, I'm going to leave it as empty and we're going to just choose anything to be able to continue. I'm going to leave proceed unchecked and click play. Now, uh, because I left proceed unchecked, Dynamo will give me a preview of the geodesic dome. You can move the sphere a bit so you can actually see the results. Or, let's try decreasing the intensity to 2. We're going to see that the frequency or the intensity has an effect. Now, 1. 1 is the minimum. 1. I prefer to stay at 3 for now, for the sake of this exercise, and I'm going to load an adaptive family. Let me load this one. So this is a triangle flat family pattern. Uh, it has something special in it. You can switch it to a detailed version or switch it back to an empty version. So it's very lightweight on Revit. Now let's load into the project and try it out. I'm going to refresh Dynamo Player in order to load or read that family we just loaded. It's 9.15, here it is. Proceed and play. It is created successfully. You can delete the dome and you can edit the type and choose the detailed version of it instead of empty. Go for glazed. OK. And let's wait a little bit. As you can see, it's now changed to the a detailed version of the triangle pattern. Let's try to actually switch the adaptive pattern type with something else. Something a little bit funky, but it's going to be nice. So loaded it, loading it and switching it and you're going to see it's something like this. And this is how simple you can create geodesic domes in Revit. Of course, you can take this further and delete some panels. You don't want to create some entries and so on. It's up to you to customize it and use other Revit techniques. Of course, you can also uh, make it scaled. For example, let's try to draw another geodesic dome. And uh, let's see, uh, let's refresh to load the adaptive, the new adaptive family. Now let's change the Y scale to 1.5 and click on proceed, then play. You're going to see something really nice. It's going to be scaled like this, elliptically scaled. I hope you've enjoyed this video and all the content is available to download below in the description.